Happy Easter. As Father Brian said, we had a great celebration last night, and we continue to celebrate the joy of the of the of Easter, the good news of Easter today. And uh, there's a an ancient uh, Easter greeting that has been making a comeback in the last while, and and so we're going to use it this morning. Uh, there's variations of this greeting. The one we're going to use is is very uh, simple. Uh, and, but for those of you who have not heard this Easter greeting before, it, it's just, you know, one person says, Christ is risen, and then the person they're speaking to, or in this case, all of you uh, reply, truly, he is risen. Now, just one little footnote to that is that there's three exclamation marks. Uh, so it, it's meant to be said with a bit of enthusiasm. So uh, let's try it. Christ is risen. Very good. That was, that was at least two exclamation marks. Uh, but anyway, so we're, we're just getting started here. That was a warm-up. So uh, let's try it again. Christ is risen. That's the joy of our Easter that we celebrate. And, and we heard of it in the, our gospel, right? This Easter good news that the angel announced to the two women and when the angel said, he is not here, he has been raised, as he said. As he said, Jesus had said that he would r rise again, right? He had predicted that he would rise again. But not only that, more than once he had, had told his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things and be killed. And after three days, rise again. So we're here today because we're celebrating that Jesus was true to his word. We're celebrating that Jesus rose again as he said. And so the good news of Easter, our belief in the resurrection, is core to our Christian faith. We're willing to stake our lives on it in the sense that we are willing to respond uh, to this Easter message and live our lives according to the fact that Jesus is risen. Our, our, our belief in the resurrection that we celebrate today, right? It's a big deal for us that Christ is risen. Christ. Sounds like a few have dropped off already. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that it's just I like caught you a little off guard with that one. Uh, otherwise, it means you're already stopped listening to the homily. And we're, we're only in page two here, people. You, you got to stick with me. So, and, um, and perhaps it's because I forgot to tell you that this is kind of meant, this Easter greeting. We're going to kind of use it as an interactive homily uh, today. So, so let's try it again. Christ is risen. As he said, right? Jesus said that he would rise again. But even more than predicting his resurrection, he told his friend Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. And in the context of his conversation with Martha, when Jesus says that he is the life, he's speaking about eternal life, the life of heaven. And also his words, I am, they too, in, in his day, and his culture, they had a very specific meaning that Jesus was saying to Martha, I am God. Right? So in other words, Jesus was saying that in his very person, he is God, and therefore he has the power over death. He has the power over eternal life. In his very person, Jesus is the resurrection and eternal life. On Good Friday, Jesus was victorious over sin. On Easter Sunday, Jesus rose victorious over death. This is the good news of Easter. This is the core of our faith, that Christ is risen. All right, some of you are a little slow on the uptake, but you're catching on. And there's, there's lots of good historical evidence that Jesus rose from the dead. But the point 
for us today is that Easter is not only about celebrating a, an actual historical event. Easter is the celebration of the person of Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life. Right? So we can say that the core belief of our faith is in Jesus. And our faith responds to him. After declaring to his friend Martha, I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus went on and said, those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? And Martha responded in faith, yes, Lord, I believe. So we're here because we want to be like Martha. We want to respond to Jesus in faith and trust with Yes, Lord, I believe that you are who you say you are. Yes, Jesus, I believe that you love me so much that you suffered and died for me, but rose again to open the gates of heaven for me. On Good Friday, Jesus gave the ultimate proof of his love for us by giving all he could give uh, to us on the cross to restore our relationship with God, to restore our closeness with God. Good Friday is the proof that Jesus is with us in our difficulties. If we have faith in Jesus crucified, we never suffer alone. If we have faith in Jesus resurrected, we never go through life alone. He is always with us. The resurrection is an ongoing reality an ever-present reality of Jesus' closeness. Jesus resurrected is always close to us. There's a wonderful Im image, uh, a painting that depicts what I'm trying to convey to you. It's entitled The Light of the World, and it was painted by William Holman Hunt way back in 1854. And when William released his painting, people were quick to point out that he had made a mistake. They said, you forgot to put a doorknob. How is Jesus supposed to let himself in? And William was, no, no, that's the whole point of this painting. That door represents the door of your life, represents the door of your heart. And Jesus is there waiting for, for you to open to him, to open your life, to open your heart's door to him, he, he won't barge in. Right? He, he respects your free choice. He respects your free will. And so we, we, today, we can choose to keep that door closed or not. We can choose to leave that door closed and keep Jesus kind of outside of our lives and not let him into the core of our lives. We, we can kind of separate ourselves from his resurrected love and presence. So on this Easter day, let's reflect on this, uh, this image. Uh, let's pause for a moment and, and, and try to go deep within. Um, so I invite you to close your eyes for just a prayerful pause here for, for a second to to be mindful that Jesus is present to us, to you, here and now. Jesus, I believe. I believe that you are the resurrection and the life. I choose to open the door of my heart to you. I need you as my crucified Lord and Savior for the forgiveness of my sins. I need you as my resurrected Lord and Savior so I can know your presence in my life. Jesus, I want to be close to you here and now and for eternal life. Amen. So the good news of Easter is our belief <clears throat> that Jesus in his person is the resurrection and eternal life. This is the core of our faith. So it's a big deal that Christ is risen, Christ is risen. as he said.